Days after booking Lashkar chief and 2611 mastermind Hafiz Saeed in a terror funding case, Pakistan has arrested the terror syndicate boss on Wednesday. Reports said that Saeed was arrested while travelling from Lahore to Gujranwala. He has been sent in judicial custody. Pakistan had booked Saeed and 12 of his associates on July 3rd. They were charged with channeling funds for terror activities under the garb of running charities. In a shocking development, a property dispute in Uttar Pradesh Sonbhadra district led to a gunfight between two groups that left nine people dead and 17 others injured. According to reports, nine people, including three women, were killed in a shootout at Ubha village, which lasted for nearly an hour. Sonbhadra district magistrate Ankit Kumar Agarwal told a UP news channel that the clash between the two groups involved nearly 100 people. BJP's covert Pranav Singh champion's viral gun dance has earned the MLA a six-year suspension from the party. The MLA was already under suspension for misbehaviour. The party action comes after the Khanpur MLA was seen dancing with his friends while brandishing not one or two, but three guns. Champion has defended his behaviour, saying that he saw no wrong in what he had done. He has valid licences for his guns and he was threatening no one. Union Home Minister Amit Shah on Wednesday reiterated the government's agenda to identify and deport all illegal immigrants in the country. Each each jamin par avaid pravasi jitne bhi rehte hain, ghus petiye jitne bhi rehte hain, inko hum identify karne wale hain aur international kanun ke tahe tiko deport kar. The Home Minister's comments came in response to a query by Samajwadi Party member Javed Ali Khan on whether the National Register of Citizens or NRC will be implemented in other states as well. It also comes at a time when the NRC is being updated under the strict monitoring of the Supreme Court in Assam and July 31st has been set as a deadline for final publication of the registered data. Private lender Yes Bank on Wednesday declared its first quarter earnings in which the bank's net profit tanked 91% year-on-year, declining to Rs 114 crores. Yes Bank had registered a net profit of Rs 1,260 crores in the same corresponding quarter last year. Yes Bank's asset quality worsened as NPAs rose to 5.01% against 1.31% recorded in the same quarter last year, while total provisions of the bank rose three times to Rs 1,784 crores. Net interest margin also declined to 2.8% against 3.3% from a year-ago period. Vipro on Wednesday announced its first quarter earnings, reporting a net profit of 12.8% year-on-year at Rs 2,387.6 crores, beating analysts' estimates. The firm registered a net profit of Rs 2,120.8 crores in the same quarter last year. Sequentially, the company's profit fell 3.86% from last quarter. The company's revenue rose 5.3% to Rs 14,786 crores, while in constant currency terms, the firm's revenue grew by 5.9% year-on-year. The IT giant's beta margin came lower than expected at 18.4%, contracting by 90 basis points against expectations of 19.2%. Lenders to Jet Airways have decided to raise $10 million as interim financing. Reports also indicate lenders have decided to call for expressions of interest to sell the airline's assets by the 20th of July. The airline's assets include 14 aircraft, 49% stake in Jet Privilege and a few buildings, while its liabilities stand at over 36,000 crores. Former Pakistan captain Inzama Mulhaq has decided to step down as the chief cricket selector. His current term ends on July 30th. According to reports, Inzamam wanted his contract to be extended by a year, but Pakistan Cricket Board decided not to renew it and will go for a new selection committee. A source told PTI that Pakistan's failure to reach the semi-finals of the recently concluded World Cup led to the Cricket Board's decision to release Inzi.